Hello and welcome to the 79th video in this series program of Chess Engine in C. So in this video I've already prepared the code completely for the video and I'm going to talk through it because the last couple I did were a lot too long and I think it's better if I, I do it this way around. I want in this video to complete the mirror the board function. The first thing you need to do is inside our evaluate we did have here a macro and an array definition of this, this mirror 64 and also we had this macro definition here, the mirror64 macro. Well I've moved the macro out of eval.c into defs.h here as you can see and I've moved the array into data.c taking off the constant and added an external definition for this array to make it global inside defs.h and this is simply because we'll need this mirror also inside a mirror function that we're going to put into or I've already put into board.c the other thing you need to do is from init we had these five arrays that we for our masks that we set up in the last couple of videos. I've also added these into defs.h here as externally available arrays, so global arrays as well, because we'll need to use those inside evaluate.c. So once that setup is done, the only thing to do now is to mirror the board. And before we do that, make sure that I spoke through an evaluation last time how we were using this mirror macro basically to for black because it's flipped if we wanted to get the score of a rook say on b7 here then mirror would give us b2 as the square if we gave the index b7 into the mirror macro well we're going to be doing exactly the same thing to mirror the board so we're going to say whatever's on b2 now needs to go on b7 so if we look at the function itself it's called mirror board, taking a pointer obviously to our position because we're going to be altering our position. We've set up here an array, a temporary pieces array of 64 squares which will hold the piece status of the 64 board squares, ignoring the border squares, we don't need them here. And we already set from the mirrored position the side into temp side by exclusive oring it with 1 which basically makes a 1 a 0 or a 0 a 1 as I think I've explained a few times already. And here we've got the first slightly interesting part, that's the swap piece array. So I explained already we would be using the mirror macro to say put something that's on b2 onto b7. Well let's say it was a white knight on b2. Well we would index them by white knight and would then get a black knight returned here. So we would also swap the piece. That's all this array is here for. Castle permission is there, so the castle permission and en passant square, likewise the en passant square. So here we set up the castle permission. The only subtlety to note here is that if in the position that we're going to mirror, white can castle kingside, then we're going to say, okay, then in the mirror position, black can castle kingside. And likewise for the remaining three castling possibilities. With en passant square, it's slightly tricky with the all the brackets here. But we need to mirror the en passant square, obviously. So if the en passant square in the position is not no square, and say it's e3, well in the mirror position it needs to become e6. But the mirror macro, or the mirror 64 array, is based on 64 squares, not 120. So the first thing we need to do is convert our en passant square to a 64 base, get it, get it out from this, uh, then get the mirrored 64 square and convert this back into 120 to set the new en passant square. And a similar thing occurs is when we store the pieces. Obviously our temporary pieces array is 0 to 63, so 64 based, which means we need to get the piece from our pieces array in the position at the 120 base because that's a 120 array, not a 64 array, which is why we're using the square 120 here. And obviously we're using the mirror of the square. So if, say, we were looking at, we were wanting to find out what should be on B7, so square was, say, B7 here, then we would be asking for the mirror of b7, so what piece effectively is on b2, and then that will give us the piece here. And then we reset the board to clear everything up, and we loop through now all of the pieces in our temp pieces array and get that piece back out. So if the piece that was on b2 was, say, a white knight, then it would now be a black knight, as I said, and would be placed then on b7. And the only thing to be careful, of course, is that we use the square 120 macro here to place the piece. So that should be fairly self-explanatory. It's just sometimes when you're not used to using arrays in, in this way, a little bit confusing. 
I've realized also that I haven't actually used the macro here, have I? I've simply used the name of the array. Never mind, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, so we've got, we set then the side, which we already changed at the beginning of the function. We set the castle permission, which we, which we set here. And then if the on percent square has been set, remember it was set at the start of the function to no square anyway. And that's now set. We generate our hash key and call our standard function update list material to get the piece lists and the pit boards and uh, pawn bit boards and whatever set correctly. And most importantly of all, at the bottom, we call our checkboard to make sure that everything is actually working. So this code should make, because I've already called make on it, and I just wanted very quickly to show how that then works. Inside export, I added inside our console loop, now you don't need to do this, but a section here that when I ask to mirror the position, it prints the board, the evaluation, mirrors, prints the board and the evaluation. So I'm just going to run vice and type vice and now type new and I think force just to stop it thinking. And now let's type E2, E4 and let's type C7, C6. And now let's type mirror and see what's happened. And you can see here the original position is E2, E4, E7, E6 with the on percent square not set at all here and white to move and the mirrored position is now c2 c3 and e7 e5 there so with black to move and no on percent square set and the evaluation for both positions because remember it's from the side to moves point of view is exactly the same score as well and the hash key difference so the mirror looks like it's working one thing we could do there quickly is just to have a look at the on percent square. So let's do E2, E3, and let's do E7, E5, and now let's mirror this position. And so we've got the on percent square set at square 75, and would you believe I can't, I'm going to have to open up LibreOffice here because I can't quite remember which square is which. I should really print that out as, as a string. Uh, recent documents. Okay, so let's check. It says the on percent square is square 75, which is correct. And then it flips it, and we've got E7, E6, and E2, E4. And now the on percent square is square 45, so that's also correct. And both evaluations, minus 15. Good, so our mirror board is, function is working. And where we'll be using that is I'll build in a... I have a, a position file, like the perf testing, of 160,000 positions, some of them very odd which it takes the engine a few seconds to run through doing this mirror and evaluation and checking that each time the scores are exactly the same. And that prevents us then putting errors into our evaluation and making the function asymmetrical. So in the next video, we'll start then adding some of these features that we've looked at in the last couple of videos into the evaluation function. So thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.